Hello everyone and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft. So I finally want to get some Thomcraft done and I've actually done a little bit on it myself. And I decided to go ahead and off camera set up logistics pipes. So you may be looking around this room saying, well, I don't see any logistics pipes. Well, okay, uh, there's actually some <laughs> there that I didn't get covered up correctly. But yeah, I've actually got everything hooked up. It's just that uh, all the pipes are hidden. Like if we come over here, I c you could see that there's some pipes back here and on the interior of the building. There are facades here as well. So I've got all the pipes covered up. They're not easily accessible, so making changes is a bit tricky. But uh, this is good enough for now. I'll probably rearrange my storage solution eventually anyway. Okay, so for today, I want to go over some of the basics of Thomcraft research. It's kind of an old subject, so I won't stay on it for too long. I do want to go ahead and make a uh, work table here. So I've done a little bit of research. I have done research expertise, which 25% uh, chance of regaining a research point during research. And Research Mastery, which has a very small amount of warp associated with it. Uh, let's see. 50% uh, chance to regain research points. Additional 10% to not lose a research point when placing an aspect. Let's see. Is this the one that will uh, show you what the different aspects are made of? Oh no, it's the first one. You're able to see which aspects you need to combine to create an aspect when hovering over them. Okay. So let's see. I don't have any research in here right now. I did the research for the uh, goggles of revealing, so I want to go ahead and make those. Just so uh, that I have them. Let's see, how did it go? I'm going to have to look it up. Okay, so letter on the top. All right. So like that, and we need five of each kind of V, so uh, looks like I'm getting a discount to Ordo and Perdito for some reason. And if I put on one of these rings, I could get an additional discount. Not a very big one, but what's the hardest to get? I think Ignis is a bit rare for me, so let's do that. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> that's not a very big discount, but I'll take whatever I can get. Okay, so Goggles of Revealing, and oh, I did put Mending on my armor. I made it so that works. I could afford Mending 2 on everything, and I actually kind of wonder if I could put Mending on these Goggles. If they count as a helmet, then I should be able to. Let's see, what in the world am I looking for? You know, I should just request it from down here. Uh, enchantment token, we can go here, so mending token, need two of these, and make me one of those please, thank you, and let's see if it works, it does, cool, okay, so I might do that later, I might to throw these in an enchanting table first and see if I get lucky. Okay, so Thomcraft Research. It's an interesting little mini game. Uh, I think in. I can't remember if this current system was introduced in 4.0 or 4.1, but the one before it, I didn't really like. But this one's not too bad. So let's see. Let's pick an easy one, like Niter, just to show an example. So all the aspects that we've learned, they're composed of other aspects all the way down to the primals. So you can see Lux is made of air and Ignis. And our goal in this little mini game is to connect everything that's on this paper. And to connect two aspects, they have to be... One aspect has to be composed of the other or can be decomposed into the other. So, for example, Lux is made of air and Ignis, so we could link that up to either air or Ignis. It looks like I have a lot of Ignis, so let's do that. 
And let's see. What can we link up to Ignis? Well, we could use Lux again. Uh, let me see if there's something else I have a bit more of, like Potentia, for example. That's made of Ordo and Ignis. So since we can make Potentia out of Ignis, we can connect it to that. And now we just need to connect these two. So, hmm, it's not a spectacular way to do that. Uh, I guess we could just do another Potentia, and then we could do either Ignis or Ordo to connect those. So that's a valid solution to this research. Now we can just use this item, and we've learned how to make Niter, which requires a Crucible. Okay, so I'm, I'm not really interested in making Niter. Um, I would actually like to be able to make Thaumium, although I've got a little bit of Thaumium already. So let's see. Um, before you get the research that will show you what aspects are made of when you hover over them, I recommend just kind of writing down how to break them down on a sheet of paper. For example, uh, say you want to break down Cognito. So write Cognito down, and then below that write Ignis and Spiritus, because that's what it's made of. Below Spiritus, write down Victus and Mortis, because that's what Spiritus is made of, and so on, until you've broken it down into a tree of its primal aspects. And that's just something I do. Like, I have Prycantadio written down, so I know that it can be broken down into Air, Perdito, Ordo, and Ignis. Prycantadio itself is made of Vacuous and Potentia. So, let's see. How can we hook these two up? Metallum. Uh, what's Vitreous? Vitreous contains Ordo. I know that I can break Prycantadio down into Ordo using Potentia. So this is actually a pretty easy one. There we go. And <laughs> that's pretty much just how you do research. Uh, some of these can be pretty complex and require a bit of thought to get them done, but overall it's not a bad minigame. There's even a config option to disable it so that you can just uh, sacrifice a certain number of research points when you click on something and instantly get it. And there are actually a few things in the Thaumonomicon that are like that by default, such as this enchanted fabric. So you purchase this research, which um, actually I probably will need that, so I'll go ahead and purchase that. So now I can make enchanted fabric. Okay, so uh, I've also got a couple add-ons for Thaumcraft, which uh, I don't think I've ever messed with Thaumic Tinkerer before, so... <laughs> uh, this is why I can't use Photoshop. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, well, yeah, this is, this looks like it's got a lot of stuff I'm going to have to look into. Apomancy. So that's bees. We can make a Thaumium scoop. I'm happy with my Mana Steel scoop, personally. Uh, another one bites the dust. Uh, I don't know what this is. Technomancy. It's another mod <laughs> I'd like to mess with. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to stick with the basics of Thaumcraft for now. One thing I would like is an axe of the stream, and I'm not quite sure what that shows up. I guess it'd be under artifact or artifice. I think. But yeah, I can't really remember what the requirements are. I could look it up, or I could just start hacking away at the research and see what I turn up. Uh, I would also like golems at some point for automating things. But yeah, I guess that's... Uh, oh. I also need a better wand eventually. Probably soon. Hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to start hammering away at the research and see where that takes me. Alright, so it's been a couple days since uh, I last recorded. It looks like we got some Batania updates. I'm gonna have to look into that. Uh, I actually uh, was. <laughs> I looked at the changelog for 202, but forgot to read one for 203. Uh, I'll have to go back and read that. But it looks like they added something very interesting that I'd like to take a look at later. Wait, where are you sending power to? Wait, what is that power doing? 
Oh, there's a loop. Oh, okay. How did I not notice that? Uh, that new line goes to a little disposable item turret that I made just for fun. So, uh, back to Thomcraft stuff. Uh, sorry, kind of scatterbrained. Uh, I want to make the uh, axe of the stream now. And I have everything I need to make that, I think. Yeah, uh, so to make the axe of the stream, we're going to need infusion. And let me see, Thalmanomicon. So infusion, you need to build this, uh, I guess you'd call it a multi-block structure. So uh, we need this runic matrix. We need pedestals, and you build it kind of like this. So we've got arcane stone bricks, pedestal in the middle. Above that, we got some stone blocks, and above that, we got the runic matrix. And we're going to need a wand for that as well. In order to do infusion, you need Essentia, which is basically like the aspects that we use for research, but in liquid form. And we can use this alchemical furnace to break down items into their components that we learned by scanning them. And then we can put the liquid essentia in these jars. And I've gone ahead and made some that I need, and this was a gift from Chaotic. Apparently he was trying to make gold, but made a bunch of gold essence bricks somehow. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> Only he could pull that off. Okay, so uh, I'd also like to try the Boots of the Traveler, which is a lot like the Sojourner Sash, and I'm not sure if its effects stack, but it'd be pretty cool if it did. So the Axe of the Stream, this will allow you to basically just point your axe at the log of a tree, continue mining, and it'll start chopping down the tree from the top. The top. And we need a couple of water shards for that as well as one diamond. I do have some thomium axe I've, axes that I've gotten from loot bags. And let's see, there's two water shards, which I may not already have. I may have to mine some. <laughs> My organization here is just such a mess. So I've started setting up that uh, runic altar, but uh, it's going to need... A little bit more work. You know what? I'm just going to stop talk, uh, talking for now because I can't talk and walk at the same time. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, runic altar set up in a temporary location for now. I'll, I'll just take my chocobo. I could fly there with my chaos gem, but chocobo works just as well. Might even be a bit faster. So like I said, this is just a, a temporary setup. I'm kind of thinking of using this area to build a base that's dedicated to Thomcraft. Uh, you can see my house is about 200 blocks away from here. It's just uh, barely out of the loading range, which is kind of what I want. I want stuff spread out so I don't have a bunch of junk in one area killing my frame rate because it's already a, a bit low even without anything going on, at least when I'm recording. Uh, let's ban that inventory. There we go. So we want to balance these ingredients as much as possible. So, for example, if I put an item here on this pedestal, I'd like to have one over here. And Oh, I actually haven't made this altar yet. We need to right-click the runic matrix with the wand and note the layout. You don't need these pedestals out here, at least not to create this. Uh, what did I do wrong? Is it because I got items laid out? No, it might be the torches. Let's get rid of the torches. No? Oh, okay, I've got the stone and the bricks upside down. Okay, so it needs to be like that. Alright. And this does use 25 of each type of V, which actually I might want to use my regular wand for that if it's full to go ahead and discharge it so that V doesn't go to waste. Alright, let's try this again. Oops. 
Really? Okay, yeah, so you can't even use the regular wands for this. Alright, well, let's get this over with. So, if you put an item on one pedestal, you should try, if possible, to put an item on the opposite pedestal as well. That'll increase the stability. Uh, some weird things can happen during infusion, and it will tell you uh, right here the instability level, which in this case is negligible, so not likely to have anything weird happen, but it could. Okay, so let's get the... Jars of Essentia down, they just have to be somewhere close by. Alright. And how do I start the crafting? Like that? Okay. So it's taking the Essentia it needs. I believe it was something like 16 Aqua and 8 Arbor. And it's taking the ingredients. And there are some other ways we can uh, increase the stability, uh, like crystal clusters, heads, things like that, just placed around the altar in a symmetrical symmetrical formation will help. But uh, we've got the Axe of the Stream now, which is awesome. Um, I have enough uh, levels that I could probably take a chance on the enchanting table. If not, enchanting tokens uh, should work on it just fine. And I kind of wish I had one of those big rainbow eucalyptus trees. I guess I could grow it. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, you just aim at one block and start chopping and the wood will gradually make its way down to you and it'll get rid of the entire tree, hopefully. Actually, it's looking like it may not be getting the whole tree here. Or maybe it is. Or maybe it's not. Okay, so we are getting some wood. It's just going very slowly here. <laughs> well, I I'm seeing saplings falling from the sky, so... Well, if I put efficiency on this, it'll probably run a lot faster. All right, there we go, finally. Wow. <laughs> that took a lot of my axe's durability, but that's okay, I can repair it. So I've also been researching uh, golems. I've got all the different kinds of golems researched. Uh, I've only got harvest and chop cores though, so I will be able to make an automated tree farm, so that's good. And just to wrap up this episode, why don't we go and... Wow, well, all the saplings. Enchant this axe. Using an enchanting table. Stupid turret shooting at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta clean this up too. I think you can guess who did that. I'll give you a hint, it wasn't me. Alright, I don't have an enchanting table of my own, and I'm kind of low on diamonds. I've I've got like 20, but that's still what I would consider low. So I just have to fly back here. Okay, give me something good, please. Eh, it's not that great, but I'll take it. That's okay, I, I can put mending on it with enchantment tokens, I think. By the way, I'm, I'm looking into kind of fixing... The flight with chaos gems. I've never gotten a bug report about it, surprisingly. I guess no one ever bothers with it, which is fine. But uh, if you have a chaos gem on and you fly down a good distance and then turn it off before you hit the ground, you will die <laughs> because it's not resetting the fall distance like it should. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I need to fix it. I've got some plans for actually changing the way the energy system for them works so that they can, uh, instead of just slowly regenerating their charge like they do now, you could actually put them into a special block to charge them. And then maybe they'll have like some upgrade that will allow them to passively recharge as well. But otherwise it'd just be like a much greater capacity. Dang it, turret. Stop shooting at me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's actually make a mending token really quickly if I can. And I'm pretty sure, I know I've tested using enchantment tokens on the pickaxe of the core, so I don't know why it wouldn't work on the axe of the stream. But let's try it. And mending will work on pretty much anything, really. It's uh, unlike area miner, which has to be on a gem tool, uh, mending will work on pretty much anything. So we've got mending one on our axe. It's not very good, but it'll repair itself passively over time. I think it has to be in the hot bar to do that. Uh, let me actually check. Main inventory. No, okay, so mending will work anywhere in your inventory, and it works on armor now as well. So, that's cool. Of course, if the item's in a backpack or anything like that, it won't repair. It has to be in your actual inventory. Alright, uh, I don't know why the server is taking so long to load stuff. It's not complaining on the console. But, whatever. So, I think I'm going to cut this episode here. It might be a little on the short side. I, I don't know. I'm just having so much trouble here. Um, my creativity kind of comes in burst. <laughs> and uh, uh, I use up a lot of creativity making this house. Making something that kind of looks natural, I guess you could say. And now I need to build that Thomcraft base. And I don't want it to be just a block or anything like that. So... Yeah, it's going to take a bit of work. But don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.